I play in a band called Little Bastard. Um, we started the band at a pub in Newtown. <laughs> Our whole band kind of live around the area and there's about, you know, 10 other bands that we're kind of mates with who we all kind of play together and go to each other's shows who all live around the area. So it's a really good community for that. I guess the Newtown audience is kind of pretty eclectic. Like, I don't know, I think if you go like to Oxford Street and stuff, there's a definitely a certain crew that go to certain places. I think in Newtown, it's a bit more um, connected. I think everybody's friends with everybody and everybody knows somebody. And even if you don't necessarily like somebody's band, you'll still go to see them because they're your friends and a bunch of your other friends are going anyway. Like there's a definite, it's not as competitive, like in a bad way. It's, it's more everybody's getting behind everybody. All like little bars like Corridor and stuff like that and Black Sheep. You can just kind of walk in and get to know the guys over a few months and then that's, exa that's exactly what I did. Um, and a bunch of my friends, like just get to know the bar staff, hang out and then, you know, oh, you play music, cool, you want a gig? Let's do it. I think there was a period there where no one was having bands on. I think in the last year it's really picked up, especially on King Street. Like if you walk up King Street on a Sunday afternoon, there's music at Black Sheep, there's music at Corridor, there's music at the Marley, there's music upstairs at Miss Peaches, above the Marley. Um, once Newtown Social Club kicks off, there'll be gigs there. There's a bunch of stuff that's happening, it's really good. So I think there was a bit of a gap there for a while, but I think everyone's um, kind of capitalising on it. Also capitalising on the fact that a lot more people are coming to Newtown. I guess the Sando was a real, yeah, was a real thing for a lot of us. It was definitely a bit of a proving ground for a lot of bands and a space that was easily accessible for a lot of up and coming bands. And when we kind of, everyone got the news that it was shutting down, it was a bit of a bummer because there wasn't that much going on in Newtown and it was kind of a bit of a miss, missing link for that kind of 200 capacity venue, which a lot of local bands need. It's tough because a lot of people from outside of Newtown are starting to kind of move in and I'm one of them like I can't pretend that I've lived here forever I've only lived here for a few years um, but definitely there's a certain kind of crew that's moving into the inner west like they'll go and, and enjoy like the nightlife which Newtown provides and deal with it and love it but then there's also I think a set like moving in who don't appreciate live music don't want any noise you know they just want a quiet cool place but with the vibe of it but they don't actually want any noise of bands so there's always that like thing because the council's got to keep the residents happy but they've also got to try and provide some kind of culture I'm positive I think there's a lot of cool um, really switched on people who are opening bars so as long as people like that keep opening bars and keep wanting to do cool stuff then it'd be sweet I mean as soon as you Justin Hems and stuff move in and try to take over venues here then I think it will be a little different